Oh. What a busy day. <laughs> Thank you for my wine. I think it's worth celebrating, don't you? <laughs> the fact that I am so superior to you. <laughs> I got a promotion at work. <laughs> and I am now your boss. It's not surprising though, is it really? Considering how untalented you are. <laughs> the boss of you at home and the boss of you at work. That just shows my power, doesn't it? My superiority over you and all men. Of course. <laughs> and to keep your job, you now have to accept how superior women are to you. How I am superior to you. And you're nothing, nothing but a talentless little inferior. <laughs> Men, you, just don't deserve to be bosses, ever, always you will remain below us and beneath us <laughs> and you're going to accept that aren't you, you want to keep your job? That's right. Now tell me. I am inferior. You are superior to me. Say it. And again. <laughs> That's right. I have power and authority. And you don't. You are going to be locked in chastity. <laughs> yeah, that is right. You are going to be locked in chastity. Be my little cuckold. <laughs> yeah. And be forever kneeling like my little foot slave that you are kneeling at my feet. For the rest of your life. When I come home from work, every day, you will be my doormat. You will open the door, you will lay down on the ground, and I will walk all over you, wiping my feet as I go. <laughs> exactly like a doormat. Nothing signifies power more than being beneath my feet. And I have the power and authority to do whatever I want. <laughs> Even at work. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? I wonder what all your little workmates are going to wonder when they see you kneeling at my precious little feet. Whenever I click, <laughs> you will bow and kneel, and maybe when I want one, a little foot rub too. <laughs> and then, you know, at the end of the day, when my feet are getting a bit tired, you will be under my desk, lying down face up, so I can rest these perfect little size five feet on your face. <laughs> and they'll smell, but you are so inferior, so below me. 
that you will not argue or disagree with me because not only will you lose your job I will humiliate you more than I'm already going to humiliate you <laughs> and you may even be punished at home my little doormat you know it's what every woman deserves to be the boss of men <laughs> to boss life and exercise the power and authority that we are born with and that's exactly what I'm going to do with you exercise the power that I so rightly have been given let's say it shall we you have power and authority over me say it and again <laughs> I will never never get bored of hearing that that's for sure <laughs> In fact, let's make that your mantra, shall we? Every day, when you unlock the door and you lie on the ground like my little doormat, before I walk over you, that's exactly what you'll say. You have the power and authority over me. Please, I beg you, use me as your doormat. <laughs> And that's why I'll wipe my feet on you. <laughs> oh, this has been the best day. The best day. <laughs> and yours. Because who wouldn't want to be under my feet? Who wouldn't want to be knelt before me? I can't think of any inferior little man who wouldn't want that because you're accepting it aren't you you accept that I am above you at home and at work you accept that you are to be my kneeling little foot slave whenever I choose and you accept to be my doormat and lowly little slave. Rub my feet. One hand on each foot. Rub them. Oh, oh that's just what I need. Just exactly what I deserve. <laughs> I'm glad you're accepting it. Because you don't have a choice really, do you? <laughs> now, I'm getting hungry. And I have all my other friends, all the other superior women in your life. I'm going to give them a call and tell them about my promotion. And then we're going to laugh at you <laughs> after I tell them exactly what you're doing for me. So come on, run along, get to the kitchen, make me something for a queen. <laughs>